Hi friends, welcome to the video lectures on Technical C by Shravan Kumar Mantri. Now we'll see the questions one by one with execution and output. So the first question, printing the digits and count of a number. So let us take an example. I'll take a number like where n is equals to 523. If I take what are the digits in this, so I can say that it is 5, 2 and 3 or else 3, 2, comma and 5. So like this also I can say, so I want to print those digits. How to print those digits? So here what is my logic is, whenever I want to, let us suppose I want to print from the right side. So how to get the digits 3 here? So how to get a digit 3 or else how to get the digit which is in one's position of any number? That means when you divide a number with 10, what will be the remainder? Let us suppose 523 if I divide with 10. What will be the remainder? I can see that, say that 3. I'm talking about remainder. I'm not talking about quotient. I'm talking only about remainder. So even if you take any number, if I take 28, 28 percentile 10, what is the answer? 8. That means when you divide any number with 10, the remainder will be your last digit. So I'll get that digit. So I'll print that digit. So that I'll get the ones position. How to get the tens position digit and hundreds position digit like this? So that means what I need to do is, anyway first n value is 523, then I am getting the digit as 3, if I divide with 10, the remainder is 3. Now if I have the number, the remaining other than 3, that means 52, if I divide again with 10, what will be the remainder? Again I will get the next, that is on the last, last digit which is 2. So that means how 523 I can convert it into 552. How to convert? Let us suppose if n is 5, 523, so 523 by 10, that means if I divide by 10, divide with 10, what will be the quotient? Of course it is integer, I am not talking about floating point, I am talking about integer. So 523 if I divide with 10, the answer will be 52. You will get these digits. So that means our conclusion is, if I divide with 10, the remainder will be the last digit and the quotient will be the remaining digits other than last digit. So this logic I want to use and I want to print each digit in a in each iteration. So I'll write the code first and I'll check it out. Anyway, the this code block compiler by default it takes the header files that are hash include stdio.h. So no need to write, it's optional. So that's why I'm skipping that. So I'll take a number n and I want to give it as input that is by scanf percent ld comma and percent n. Now after giving a number what we require first. So I want to divide with 10 and I want to get the remainder. So that's why n percent l 10 I want to store this number in a particular variable which is equals to r. That means r equals to which is a remainder when I divide with 10. So I'll keep like this and then I want to print that digit. So I'll keep some slash in here. Percent ld comma r. So after getting a remainder, now I want to take the quotient part and I want to update it with n only. So that's why I'll take n is equals to n by 10. So n is equals to n by 10. So that means our n value will be updated. I explained now 523. I get the remainder as 3. I'll print it and after that 523 by 10 which is 52. Now n value is 52. Now I want to do the same iteration process. That means 52 percent L10. So how to make the same iteration process? That means I need to use a one loop. Here I'll use while loop. While this process has to be repeated when it has to be stopped. That means 52 percent L10 I'll get 2. So then 52 by 10 it will become 5. Next 5 percent L10 5. So 5 by 10 0. That means until 0 you have to do. That means while n is not equals to 0 you have to apply this process. So that's why this while loop will be closed here. Now if you want you can observe you can trace it. 
what happens how it will be printed 523 is non zero yes 523 percentile 10 which is 3 you will, you will print that 3 next 523 by 10 which is 52 now n value is 52 is 52 non zero yes 52 percentile 10 2 r equals 2 will be printed next n value 52 by 10 5 so now 5 is non zero yes true 5 percentile 10 see 5 percentile 10 is 5 only it's like when you want to divide a new when you want to divide a numerator with denominator if numerator is less than the denominator the remainder is numerator itself let us suppose if i say 9 percentile 10 9 only the answer 11 percentile 15 11 only the answer like this so if numerator is less than the denominator numerator it will itself is the direct remainder so like this so that's why here 5 percentile 10 is 5 only then 5 printed and what is 5 by 10 0 only so it won't go it, 10 into 1 is 10 so that's why 10 into 0 0 that's why 5 by 10 which is 0 so n value is 0 then it comes out of the while loop and it ends so now we'll see what are the other variables to be declared here r is to be declared that's it so now if we execute this one we'll see the output So I'll take a number, let us suppose 2578. So the digits are 2578. Anyway, it will print in reverse. That is first in one's position, 8, next 7, next 5, next 2. Like this, it will be printed. Now we'll go to the next one. Second one, print the sum of the digits of a number. How to get the sum of the digits of a number? I'll go to the previous program so this is a program first we executed now where you want to get what are the digits in a number now in this what i'll update is whenever i get a remainder remainder in the sense it is a digit is that right so that digit i'll take and i'll make it sum that means i'll make s equals to s plus what is the remainder i have to make it and where s is initialized to zero here count is not required s equals zero is required and every time i'll do all these digits okay and now what i'll what happens after the while loop after the while loop you will get sum of the digits now i want to print that sum so here i want to print that sum which is the variable value s now you can see how it will be executed let us suppose if i give 524 524 means the sum will be 4 plus 2 plus 5 which is 11 so it takes 524 is non-zero s you will get the remainder as r equals to 4 so s initially what is s initial value zero this is must so zero plus five so zero plus four that is four next digit you will get it as two four plus two six and next digit you will get it as five so totally six plus five eleven you will get here so s value will be eleven so like this very simple you can do from the previous program so you can see the output now and you can observe what are the modifications you have done s equals to s plus r newly introduced and the printf statement you have written outside with instead of r you have written with s so that is what i want to connect one program to the another so let us suppose i'll give a number like 35467 so what is the output you can see the sum of all the digits is 25 so like this easily you can get the answer for this one sum of digits of a number at even and odd positions so in fourth question it is odd digits but here it is odd position so what is the difference we have to know so sum of the digits of at even and odd positions from right so what is this position so i'll tell you so let us suppose if i take 27854 what is the first position digit means once place digit that means four second position means five third position means eight fourth position means seven fifth position means two now if you see what are the odd positions means four eight two even positions means five seven so now we need to find this sum so odd position sum means four plus it's not odd digit it's odd position so four plus eight plus two which is fourteen 5 plus 7 which is 12 that has to be printed anyway if you want to check both are equal or not that also to be checked 
so now comparing with the fourth question that we have done previously what are the changes we need to modify here so now what we need to modify so here we have taken remainder whether the remainder is percentile to that means whether it is even or odd, even or odd we have checked it but how can we check it out the position is even or odd so first that what we need to take is we'll take an extra variable c where c is initialized to 0 whenever it enters into the loop so i'll make it c plus plus that means when c equals 1 means yes we are we are taking the f f digit first position digit if c equals 2 means we are taking the second position digit now we got r value then what you need to do here instead of if r percentile 2 is equals to 0 what we need to do we have to write c percentile 2 why because c is a position if the position percentile 2 is equal 0 that means it is even position else it is odd position so like this we need to check it out and other than this is there anything to be changed i think no so like this how we need to connect one program to the another program so we made a c equals to 0 and c plus plus every time we are checking and if c value divide divide with 2 and if it remainder is 0 means even position which is stored in s1 the sum and if it is not i'm storing s2 so we'll see this output so i'll take some example like 72345 so first we'll take we have written percentile 2 is equal 0 that means even sum even position means uh, second position means 4 fourth position means 2 so 4 plus 2 what is 4 plus 2 6 will be the first output second output should be 5 plus 3 plus 7 so which is 8 plus 7 15 we'll see the output so 6 is a even position sum that means second position and fourth position odd position means one po first position third position fifth position so which is 15 are they equal no so that's why not so like this we can consider and even we can see the next question which is very most related to this one and again we'll make some changes we'll go to the next question so if you compare the next question that is sixth question program to check if the product of digits of a number at even and odd places even and odd places means same thing like even and odd positions so again asking even and odd places of course it is also from right is equal or not so what you need to do here here in the fifth question it is asking about sum and sixth question it is asking about product that's it that is only the main change here you need to check it out so this is what we need to observe so for some we made for each digit we made sum but for the products we have to make multiplication so that simple changes we will do so that i'll get the answer for the sixth question So let us suppose if I take this number 72345 for this question it has to multiply 5 into 3 into 7 and it has to multiply 4 into 2 separately and we have to check it out whether both are equal or not. So let us suppose if I take here of course the same thing has, has to be done I have to make some changes what are the changes so instead of summing up here we need to multiply that's it and here instead of here also plus you need to make another is that right so now is there anything else to be changed in this program so that so that we'll get of course here you need to write product and not only that two more changes has to be done in this program what are those two more changes that means when you make the sum sum is initialized with zero but when you want to make the product that product should be initialized with that productive identity is one so if you make it initialized with zero what happens zero into r value zero zero into something is always zero so that will become that's why so s1 equals to one and s2 equals to one has to be done so now these changes what are the changes we have done here multiplication in s1 and s2 and here s1 equals to one and s2 equals to one so these major modifications you have to do of course that's it we'll see the program we'll see the output so i'll take something like uh, 
so i'll take 23465 so here the sum is first one even digits 6 into even position digits 6 into 3 which is 18 and second one is 5 into 4 into 2 which is 40 18 and 40 which are not equal so like this you can print you can take any number in the integer range but you can take any number in the integer range it's not like only five digits has to be taken so like this we need to perform the operations in very simple Thank you.